Hey folks, Mr. McStash, we're here with my front tire, and we're going to do a product review on these Lepe, L-E-P-E-E, -E -E, tire pressure monitors. I have had some tire pressure problems in the past, put me on the side of the road in Arizona, trying not to let that happen again. So, if you want to come down here with me, we're going to teach you about these tire pressure monitors. So, folks, when you get these, they come in a package like this. Um, very basic. It says tire pressure by app, which you have an app you put on your phone, put tire pressures on your tire, and monitor your tire pressures. Do they work? Yes. They have been on the bike for over a thousand miles. I deleted my app. I'm going to redo the install for you here today so that you can... You can see it from the start. But when you open the box, you're going to get a bunch of paperwork. This is your binding code, which on the back, your QRC code for Android and for iOS. And then your binding for each particular one. Um, you get a instruction manual that is in English. So easy to go. And you get a thank you letter from the people. Um, I think this just has some frequently asked questions on it too so there you go um, inside here you get two sensors two lock nuts and a wrench pretty simple when you pull the sensors out let's see if we can get this here there's a little lock here that when you pull it out that there you use the one side of your wrench and that takes the bottom out and your battery's inside there to replace your battery then you just line your piece back up, put it on there. Done deal there, piece of cake. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take this cap off of your tire, obviously. You do not need the metal, uh, some of the tire pressure things once you take a, a metal piece here. This, as you can see, mine is rubber, and it's been on here. Like I said, I've done over a 1,000 miles with these on the bike, and I've not had any problem. But what you do is... Drop your lock nut. What you do is you put your lock nut on. Screw it all the way down. Take your tire pressure sensor. And put it on in place of your cap. Easy to do, right? Put it on in place of your cap. Like that. You will get a slight air release, but whatever. And then use your wrench. Like I said, one side is for your battery change. The other side is for this. Take your wrench and just snug that on there. It's that simple. And then what you will do is go to your app, load your app. One thing I am going to tell you about these, I had to work with this the first time a couple of times to get, because I like my front tire set at 40. Well, I need, the first time I hooked it up, the, the pressure on here didn't read the pressure I measured. So I measured with an air pump, and then I measured with a gauge. And I had to take it off one time, put it back on to get to get my pressures to match the way I wanted them to match. Um, or with, I think it was within a pound, which I was okay with that. Now, you're basically set up like that and ready to go. Um, I have two motorcycles. So what I did, come with me here, is I went in on my board here. On my board in my garage, I have one scan code here. I set the other one here. I scan each bike depending on which bike I'm going to be riding. So it will work on two bikes, but there's a trick you have to do for that. Um, two separate bikes. One phone, one bike at a time. Okay? So, now we got it on there. Um, I'm going to... I What I personally done was I took my valve caps and put them in here put my wrench in here and threw that in the side bag so I have that all the time. If I'm on the side of the road and I need to get this off, I can. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off now and show you the warning. Um, before I do that, Blue Bike and Doyle and Big Her have also reviewed these and loved them. But Blue Bike and Doyle says it's a Chinese voice. I'm going to 
make it talk here and and we'll see what you think so if i take this off the sensor is going to read that there's no pressure on my tire too low. so she will start talking front tire pressure is too low front tire pressure is too low now i don't know if that sounds front chinese to me pressure but... is too low so there you go there's that front now while she's still talking we're going to go ahead and put this back on. And there, she shuts up. So there you go, folks. You know what? Like I said, I've done over a thousand miles with this bike. Uh, the other bike I've done probably about 500 miles with these sensors on. I'm impressed. Um, I like them. I, since going down in Arizona with the, the back tire, we had actually, I had, we was leaving the hotel that morning and they all saw me. We checked, I checked both of my tires there before we left. We stopped and got something to eat, jumped back on the freeway and something just didn't feel right. When I hit the ramp, I did the little wiggle you do with the handlebars and eh, whatever, and went on. Had I had this, I could have pulled it up and noticed I was dropping pressure in the rear tire because when, after we, got off the side of the road <laughs> the hard way the back tire was flat so we had picked something up in the parking lot or some somewhere along the line because we had checked the tire pressure that morning and it was fine at the hotel well i won't have that problem anymore because i will be hearing front tire pressure is too low um it'll say too high i think it says leak detected i can't swear to all that but anyhow it's definitely worth having 30 bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, hang on. Let me pull them up here on my. Yeah, there we go. $36.99. Hopefully you can see it. $36.99. Can't beat it, folks. Um, trike, you're probably out because you, like I said, you can't. I tried to bond four of them with one of their other apps, so no. But uh, two wheel bike, one a decent tire pressure monitor system. There you go. I, I can't say enough about them. Um, I get nervous now, of course, because I did have an accident. So while I'm going down the road, I'll pop this up. I got it on my front screen. Well, I had it on my front screen. I'll move it back around there. But I pop this up and I can instantly see my tire pressures and if everything's good or not. And that gives me a little bit of reassurance. So if you want a little bit of safety in your life, there you go. Le P. L E P E. Um, for the price, you can't beat it, folks. I'm Mr. McStash. And remember, we don't say this enough, but thanks to our Patreon members like these guys right here. They're true heroes. Their money helps support local veterans in our area. We want to thank them for that. Love you guys. Uh, check on a buddy. You never know when your words can save a life. Love on your family. You never know how much longer you'll have them. And when you get back out there, folks, keep it rubber side down. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.